Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Lisa of Diamonds and Stitches and today I am going to do an unboxing of a kit I got from Diamond Art Club a few weeks ago honestly um, and I, I put it aside and I forgot to unkit it but um, or unbox it I mean and um, and I really wanted to because it is not one that I had seen on Diamond Art Club uh, previously. I don't know if I missed it, but I was on the website and, um, and you know, uh, had gone into the area that said uh, back in stock. And this one popped up and I hadn't seen it before. And I do stock Diamond Art Club quite frequently. I would probably say about three times a week. And, um, and so when I saw this, I was like, oh, how did I miss this? And how did it like get back in stock? I've never actually seen it. So, um, I grabbed it because it just spoke to me and it is called black and white. It is just called black and white. Now, um, back when I was younger, I loved black beauty. Black beauty was the like this movie, the book, everything just spoke to me. And in fact, my first black car that I bought, I actually named it Black Beauty. Um, the car I have now is black as well. And it is Black Soul, which is black like my soul. We It's a whole joke on redheads anyways. Um, but when I saw this piece, I was like, I have to have that. Like, I just have to have that. So um, the artist is Deborah Lewis. This kit was $28.95 and it is a 45 by 32 and it is round with ABs. So let's unbox it so you can see what it looks like. Actually, I'm really curious to see what it looks like too. I think that it's just going to have a lot of black and white, which, you know, the title of it. Um, I'm hoping that it's not 8,000 colors. Typically, they don't, but who knows? Okay, so Diamond Art Club always boxes up their, uh, their um, diamond paintings in really nice, sturdy boxes, always well graphic, you know, uh, just a nice presentation for, um, for their, their products. I really appreciate how they package their products. I have yet to receive a damaged, like a legit damaged kit from Diamond Art Club because of their packaging. It's been awesome. So um, I can't say enough about it. Like really their, their, their model that they have decided on, uh, they're just hitting it out of the, the park that way. So really great. Um, in every diamond painting kit that you receive, you have everything you need to get yourself started in diamond painting. Oh, let's put you guys down just a touch so you're not seeing just half of my face. Sorry, guys. Um, and so you receive three things that get you started. A toolkit, your diamonds, and the canvas. This is everything you need to get yourself started with diamond painting. And people go, oh, diamond painting so expensive. And especially if you buy Diamond Art Club paintings, they're very expensive. Yes, this kit was $28.95. Everything I need to get started with diamond painting is in this kit. This I would pay the price for this because I know that the the diamonds are quality diamonds. I know that the canvas is quality canvas. If I went to Ally Express and paid six dollars for a kit, it's a toss up if the kit that I get is going to be uh, that the symbols I can see on the canvas very well that the diamonds that I receive are all evenly uh, shaped proper that you know there's not a lot of junk drills or garbage uh, diamonds um, 
the kits seem to be universal. The tool kits seem to be universal. So I, I'm not worried about that. Um, the other thing is, is that with Diamond Art Club, you receive it within a few days versus AliExpress, where it could be a few weeks up to maybe a month, um, depending on where you live. And then the other thing too is, uh, so, you know, the Ally Express is how I started. So, you know, and New Frog, which is now CES Deals, has some great diamond paintings on there um, for not a lot of money. And so if it's something that you think you might want to get into, then, you know, by, it's a great option to go to. Um, you know, if you start with uh, crochet as your craft, uh, you've got to go and get, you know, not only your yarn and your patterns and maybe even find somebody to help you a little bit because sometimes the stitches are not, uh, you know, you're not sure how to get the stitches done. You need a hook, um, you know, something to put your yarn in. Um, all of you know and so yeah it starts adding up so while maybe a ball of yarn is only three dollars and your hook is maybe six dollars there's nine dollars there but then you still either have to find a pattern and there's lots of free sites obviously or again you need somebody to help you you know with learning how to do that that craft if you're a cross stitcher you know um and you've got to get the pattern, the fabric, the threads, uh, the needle, uh, something to store it in, possibly a light and a magnifying glass, depending if you have old eyes like I do and can't see your fabric holes. Um, you know, and so it starts adding up. So this as a kit, one kit to, to purchase is no more expensive to me than buying a pattern thread and fabric for a cross stitch piece. So it just depends, right? I, I, I spent way more minutes on that than I meant to, and I'm sorry, but um, I like to give as much information as possible. And if you don't want to listen, that's totally okay. Fast forward to, you know, where you see me start getting out the gems. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, in every kit, you receive a tool kit. Inside the tool kit, in this one, they have it labeled as a round tool kit, and they've got the contents on the outside of the bag, and their contents say that you receive a magic applicator, a comfort grip, two wax pads, one craft tray, and one multi-placer. So this is what they call all of those items. And let's go through them really quick so if you are new to this craft you understand what they all are so here is your magic applicator this is what you use to pick up your diamonds and get them onto your canvas here is the comfort grip that they call the comfort grip and you just place this on the end of your diamond painting or magic applicator and it just gives you another level of a comfort while you are working on your diamond paintings because if you, this is very thin it's very small uh, diameter and um, can be very thin and depending on how you hold it your fingers can actually get tired after a while so this little comfort grip helps with that fatigue and also gives you a little bit more to grip on too and then you receive this, oh, this is a newer one. Oh, that's a newer one than I've received before. This um, multi-placer. This one looks like it's a, is that a five multi-placer? I don't know, I haven't used this one before, so, um, so I don't know, but it is definitely bigger than a three, um, which is nice and it's clear, which is also something I haven't seen before. So anyways, you put that on the other end of your uh, magic applicator then you take these beautiful little heart waxes that just make me so super happy every time I see them you take off the protective film on the outside you squish one end into the wax to use it for the single placer or you push it into for the multi-placer and this allows you to have something for the diamonds to grip to 
um, and be able to put onto the canvas. So those two, and then you receive this craft tray and their craft trays have a funnel on the end, which is nice for when you are putting your diamonds back into whatever type of storage that you decide to use. And then they also include some plastic bags for you to put your extra diamonds in when you are finished with that color and moving on to another color. So um, it's a nice, it's a nice toolkit and, um, and very helpful for when you are starting with your diamonds. Then you get these awesome package, very nicely packaged. Never can get them back in the package this way once you take it out, so it happens. But um, these are the diamonds, and these are what you need to go onto your canvas. So let's have a quick look at these diamonds. I hate that they're in this cellophane bag, it, the noise of the cellophane bag. And then on the outside of the bag is um, Diamond Art Club DAC and then a bunch of numbers uh, that those numbers correspond to the kit number that they have either on the box or on the canvas. And so they know that this model number or set of numbers goes to black and white. And um, they used to have a little birth date on them and they used to say the name of the kit on the outside. I miss that because I like that. It was, it was just a nice little touch, especially when you're kitting your stuff up and, or you're not quite ready to kit your stuff up. And, um, and you had the name of the kit um, to your drills or your diamonds. And um, I just liked it, it was nice. So anyways, they put, and there's the ABs already, I see them. Um, they put the diamonds in these really nice bags, uh, kitted up almost all ready for you, ready to go. And what I like is on one side it has, you know, the, the name of the company, Diamond Art Club, and then their slogan, uh, Do What Makes You Sparkle. And then on the other side, they have the number, which is the DMC color number. They have that on the outside of the, of the bag, and it corresponds to the DMC number that goes with the symbol on the canvas. And we'll see that when we get to the canvas. So there are the ABs. The ABs are just a bit more sparkly. They have a little bit more shimmer and glitter to them than um, the regular diamonds do, which are sparkly in their own right by the way that they are cut. But these ones just have a little bit, it's almost like the glitter fairy came along and dusted um, these with their little pixie dust, <laughs> their glitter. And um, so that's, that's what's on there. So uh, surprisingly, okay, I was really truly expecting this kit to just kind of be black, white, some, and a little bit of grays. And there is some, oh, you can't see that. There are some grays, but look, there's some blues. There's my three tens. And shockingly, there's not a lot of three tens. Um, there's some three seven nine nines, which is also kind of a dark black, black blue color. Uh, some more grays. But look, you guys, there's some blues. Like, I was not expecting that some blues in there. So that must be maybe in the background of the forest where it's icy-ish, I don't know. But um, so pretty colors, I'm excited for that. Now let's open up the, the bag. I do not like these bags, Sam I am. I do not like these bags. Um, I mean, I like that they put them in a bag, don't get me wrong, I don't like the the white bag, you can't see what's in it right away. You know it's a it's a canvas, but it's so much nicer when it's in a clear bag. It's almost like, ooh! Okay, so uh, Diamond Art Club's canvases have a different feel than any other canvas that you have probably received that is not Diamond Art Club. Um, they have a velvet tarpaulin uh, backing to their canvas 
And I, I want to say that that's what makes the canvas a little bit more flexible um, when it's got drills on it and you can hang on. It just, it just has a different feel to it. And I liken the feel of this backing to the, um, you know, the velvet, the inside of the, the trays to your, uh, to like a watch, uh, case that you buy and it's got that, that fuzzy little, you know, layer inside of it to protect it from scratches or, um, inside your jewelry case or anything like that, you know, that velvet, um, that helps things not slip around and protects. Yeah. This is what their canvas feels like. So as you can see, it's all rolled up, right? It's the way it came. So if you take it and you roll it the opposite way, oh yeah, I can see where the, the colors are coming in. And actually a lot of them are in the horse itself. So, I mean, I probably noticed that a little bit on the picture, but it wasn't like a big thing to me because again, I just kind of thought that the horse was black and the background behind him was white and it just reminded me of black beauty and so that's what i'm gonna go with okay so watch the magic you guys you saw how it was all rolled up right ta-da it lays flat okay it's making a liar out of me it's curling up on the edges <laughs> down um and then each uh diamond art club canvas also comes with this rolled up instruction uh, pamphlet with the nine steps to diamond painting. Useful, but honestly, this is so foolproof, you guys. It's so foolproof. Um, you look for the symbol, you find your color in the symbol chart, and you find your diamond that coincides with that and you put it on the canvas and it sticks and it's beautiful and it makes a beautiful picture. So this is what this looks like. It has 16 colors and like I said it was a size, what size did I say it was? Sorry guys, 45 by 32. So it's not a horrible size. It's a nice size to, to diamond paint but is that not gorgeous? Is that not gorgeous? I mean, it's just so tranquil and beautiful. Okay, and I have a little tiny story. Let's off track it. My son, who is now 19, when he was a little boy, um, I, I call my children the first three and then the last one because the first three were born very very uh close together like the first two boys are 13 months apart and then my daughter was uh 16 months from her second brother and so you know i had three kids under three for um yeah <laughs> crazy crazy mom three kids under three or three kids under four Maybe it's three kids under four. I don't know. It, the whole, my whole motherhood was a blur for the first three. And then um, I turned 30 and I had my last child and same dad, you know, and um, people always ask me that because I always call them the first three and then the other one. No, it's the same dad. We just, there was a lull in between the first three and the baby. And so anyways, when he was born, he was basically like an only child because his siblings were nine, eight, and six And um, when he was born. And so, uh, yeah, he was just, anyways, he was very spoilt and, um, and, you know, really treated like an only child. And so... Uh, he pretty much got anything he wanted. He was very much into dinosaurs. He was very much into horses. He was very much into, like, he was into everything, right? Anything that, that, yeah. And there was a movie that we found, and it was called Spirit. And I'll tell you what, you guys. He had that DVD. He had it in a DVD, and he played it and played it and played it and played it. Oh, so many times that... 
he actually wore out the DVD and I had to buy a new one. And, um, you know, if you ever said, hey, honey, what did you want to watch? It was always Spirit. Can I watch Spirit? Now, Spirit was actually kind of sad. There was a sad part in Spirit. And, um, but, you know, after you watch it so many times, you become immune to it. And, um, but it was just such a beautiful movie. And now they've come out with like a cartoon version of Spirit that my granddaughter now watches. So it's kind of cute that it's kind of come full circle. But when I saw this canvas, not only did it remind me of Black Beauty, but also because of the tranquility of this piece and just like it kind of reminded me a little bit of Spirit as well. Like I just, yeah. So um, one of the reasons why I got it, I guess, um, it just spoke to me and um, I just think that it's beautiful. So um, I can't wait to do this and see where the sparkles are going to be. Let's see here. Where are the, so 12 and it is, oh, so it's really random. Um, it's in the white, but it's random all throughout. So it's really going to be kind of a background. It's not, it's not concentrated in an area. Um, so it will be kind of all over in the white background here. Anything that you see white, um, it's kind of interspersed in between all of that. So that's going to be really cool. You guys, I'm, I'm very excited for this piece. Um, I have so many to do you guys. It's almost like I could do a, a stash. Nope. Not doing one. I would scare myself and nobody needs that. Um, yeah, so anyways, I hope that you enjoy this beautiful picture, uh, canvas, Deborah, oh gosh, Deborah Lewis, $28.95, Diamond Art Club, 45 by 32, round drills, 1AB, beautiful, black and white, gorgeous. All right, thank you for joining me. I hope that you um, enjoyed and I... Uh, and I hope to see you in my next video. All right, bye-bye.